Hey, welcome back everybody. Wanted to quickly give a shout out to all my YouTube, my Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble viewers. If you guys like to follow me on some of these alternate platforms, you can find all those links in the description or pinned comment. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about something odd that I noticed a few days ago, on April 2nd actually, when um, one of our Discord users, Bricks, posted this tweet from a guy named Dr. Julian. And he basically, he had put out a tweet saying this attack on the Capitol was uh, definitely by white supremacist Trump supporters or something to that effect. And uh, then afterwards, obviously when he was wrong, he put out this supposed apology tweet saying earlier I made a tweet in my misjudgment claiming today's attack on the Capitol was done by Trump supporting insurrectionists. This wasn't the case, however. Trump and his supporters have denigrated the sanctity of the Capitol building and laid the groundwork for future attacks. So, uh, admitting he's wrong, but not wrong. You know, a typical non-apology. So I did what a lot of people would do in this case. I found his Twitter account and I just wanted to see what other nonsense was on there. And I wish I had recorded that at the time, but you know, I was just laughing at the tweets of how ridiculous they were, wondering if it was some sort of a parody account. Well, I go looking at all of his tweets and I just happen to notice uh, when I look at who's following him because I'm like, who is following this guy? I noticed a few odd things, uh, members of the media, but I also noticed that CCP media, China State Media was following this guy, very odd. And the account was strange to begin with. I noticed that his follower count was really low, uh, 86 or maybe it was just over 100. And he was uh, verified. He had a blue check mark, which I found really strange. And then when I looked at his join date, his join date was March of 2021. So he had just joined. And I pointed this out on Discord saying, I swear what's happening in this country is being driven by China and their agents in our media and government. And what I meant by that is just the racial division, the riots, pretty much everything that's going on. And then at the same time, you got the media really trying to run cover for China, attacking Trump as inciting violence against Asian Americans for by calling it the China virus, suggesting that anybody who does, you know, is somehow a racist or, you know, wants to inflict some sort of negative attention onto Asian Americans, which I know I don't, and I don't know anybody that does. But the fact is that virus more than likely, most likely given all the data that we have now came from that Wuhan lab, which is funny because for how long there did the media attack anybody who suggested that came from the Wuhan lab? And now we're seeing sort of trickling into the media this idea that criticizing China at all or even calling them communist China is somehow inciting violence against Asian Americans. Well, I found all of this very strange. Anyone would. I mean, it's an obvious ploy to deflect criticism of China. But like I said, if you go and you look, you see right here, you see that uh, China state affiliated media is following him along with this. Hmm, that's weird. Twitter verified. Twitter is working with new authentication and verification process. Oh, really? They're following him. But I didn't really follow up on it. My birthday was the next day, and I kind of forgot about it until today. So I jumped on to our Resisting the Biden Regime channel on Discord, and uh, one of our users, Soul Man, had posted that Eliza Schaefer had actually looked into this and found some interesting information, and I just wanted to share that with you guys. So he looked into the account actually that same day, April 2nd, and like many of us noticed uh, that the account was just created in March, that it has less than 200 100 followers, which I mentioned. It was already verified, which seems really strange given their uh, you know, claimed procedures and uh, verification methods to verify who these people are and their identity. The account uses the platform to spread misinformation. I wish I could go back and show you all the insane posts on this, on this Twitter account. And they were all, like Elijah points out here, uh, anti-Trump, anti-white, anti-Republican, and pushing all the typical narratives that you hear from the mainstream media. But as you can see here, the tweet is unavailable now. The account is also unavailable because he deleted it. Most of the followers on this account were Biden administration accounts, uh, CNN, NPR, MSM, journalists, uh, all the people who are typically running cover for China and attacking people that criticize them. Some of the first tweets that this guy posted were pro-China, running cover for China, praising China for what they've done in the coronavirus. Typical stuff that you, you even see in the mainstream media. All of this is starting to leave little doubt that this guy was a CCP agent, which seemed pretty clear right off the bat. But if he's a CCP agent, how in the world 
did he get verified by Twitter? Uh, none of their verification processes or standards seem to apply. He just seemed to have gotten it. Uh, Elijah continues here, damn, we just exposed Twitter sanctioning fake verified influencers to spread information in America to benefit the Democrat agenda. And I would say more so than anything to benefit communist China, to benefit the CCP. He says the project appears to be connected to the CCP. Evidence on the page suggests Biden admin could be connected as well. Let's look and see who uh, this guy follows. CNN, NPR, President Biden, NBC, Joe Biden, NBC, MSNBC, Kyle Griffin, The Washington Post, Huffington Post, all the typical left-wing Democrat Party state media outlets and mouthpieces. Very interesting. I guess the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And to make matters worse, it turns out that the photo that this guy used on his account was a stolen photo it was from somebody else so twitter verified is i mean that seems like the minimum level of verification right there is that the picture that you're using is actually the person which leaves little doubt that twitter and some function here was working with the communist party in china the cherry on top of the shit sunday also came from elijah here who found that this guy or it looks like it was this guy dav um, found that this guy is a verified CCP agent, or most likely. So the guy's name was Dr. Julian. Uh, here we have Chen Julian. Maybe that's a common name. It could be. Uh, I think that's a pretty uh, interesting coincidence at the very least. Um, here he says, you know, that he's a medical assistant. Uh, freelance journalist for CNN, huh? So that's it for this one. Just in summary here, apparently a CCP agent got automatically verified by Twitter's verification process somehow. And this guy is confirmed to be a CCP agent who also worked as a freelance journalist for CNN at one time. So take all that in and uh, try to convince yourself that we haven't already been taken over by China. That's it for this one, folks. Go ahead and hit that like button, share and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And like I said earlier, if you wanna follow me on any of these alternate platforms or join us in the Discord server, uh, you can go ahead and find all those links as well in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all next time.